Hey guys, uh, Michael Hauser here with Electronic Eye Security, and we're going to be covering the 2 gig Go Control and changing your user code, uh, adding a user code, or adding a duress code. So, anyways, we're going to start from our home menu, and from the home menu, we're going to go ahead and hit security. We're going to hit menu, and then we're going to hit toolbox, and we're going to go ahead and put in our four digit master code to access the functions. Mine's 1234. From there, we're going to hit user management. And then from there, we're going to go into the different user codes that we want to add or, or change. Right now, my user code for master is 1234, so I'm going to go ahead and go into that menu there. And it says change PIN, uh, and I want to go ahead and change my PIN, or my code, and it's four digits. And I'm going to go ahead and change it to 1111, and I'm going to press OK. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter again. And now, it'll tell you I've changed code successfully. I'm going to press OK. I'm going to go back into the menu, and it's going to notice, as you see, which is really neat about an interactive screen, you're going to see the codes that are already programmed into the system. As you see now, the user master code is 1111. If I wanted to change or add a user code from here, I would hit Add the User, and just simply put in the code. I'm going to just do 1258, and I'm going to go ahead and hit it again. And now you'll notice that it says successfully created, and it's going to tell you, it's going to ask me if I want this to be uh, all the time active, by schedule, or never. So we're going to just leave this as always, and I'm going to go back into my menu here by hitting the back button, and you'll notice that that code's been already programmed. To program your duress code, it's user number eight. You can have seven user codes in the system. The eighth code is for duress, and here's where I'd add my duress code. And then it's going to tell you that the duress code sends a silent alarm to the central station in the event of uh, being put on duress. That means if somebody was to tell you to disarm your alarm system, um, you could put in this code and silently send a signal to the central station that, that makes the system look like it's working normally, but yet it's uh, going to summon the police and get them out there to your house. So anyways, this is where we create that user code, and we do it the same way by putting our four-digit code and verifying it. Once we get done, you can go ahead and view that code once we finish it. And that's pretty much it about changing user codes. Once we get done, we can just go ahead and hit our home button on the bottom right-hand screen, and we're back and ready to arm.